Hi, this is Julie Harlan. Please visit my website at yourmathcal.com where I organize my videos by topic. A fraction that contains one or more fractions in either its numerator or denominator, denominator or both is called a complex fraction. Below are five examples of complex fractions. Um, complex fractions are not in simplified form and there are two common methods for simplifying a complex fraction. In the first method, both the numerator and denominator need to be written as single fractions and then you can multiply the numerator the re by the reciprocal of the denominator. In my example, the very first one is in that form, so method one works very well for that. For the rest of them, method two is actually easier for most people. You multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by the least common multiple of all the denominators of fractions in the numerator and denominator, and this eliminates the complex fraction in the first step. All right, we're going to use method two on this example because we have more than one term in the numerator or denominator, in fact, in both. And so we're going to have to multiply both the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by the least common multiple of all the denominators. So we look at all the denominators of all the fractions, and we see that that's x squared, y squared. So I'm going to multiply the numerator by x squared, y squared, and I'm going to multiply the denominator by x squared, y squared. Remember, I'm just making a complex fraction because that's like 1, right? x squared, y squared over x squared, y squared. And if you want, you could put it over 1 if you'd like. That's up to you. Okay, so we need to distribute. So we have the first term in the complex fraction in the numerator is 5 over x squared y times the x squared y squared plus 3 over xy squared times the x squared y squared. Now the denominator, we do the same thing. We have to distribute, so we have 2 over x squared y, x squared y times the x squared y squared minus 1 over xy squared times the x squared y squared. So now, if we did it correctly, uh, we'll eliminate the complex fraction. There. Everything should cancel, whatever's in the denominator. So let's see, this x squared cancels with that. Then we have a y squared over y, so we're going to still have a y up here. And then we have this next one. Let's see, x squared over x, that's going to give us an extra factor of x up here, and the y squareds cancel. You can cancel those x squares this y, this x squared over x is going to get left with one factor of x there, and both of these y squared. So lots of canceling going on. So what do I have left? Be careful here. I've got a 5 times y, 5y, and I have a 3 times x. So I have 5y plus 3x in the numerator, and in the denominator I have 2 times y minus 1 times x. And neither of those could be factored, so that's our answer.